It's another lady of the house kind of day, and today we are going to play dress up. Welcome back ladies. Today, yes, we are dressing up and this is going to be the dress I have chosen to wear to formal night or if you want to call it best dress night. I think it depends on the cruise line that you go on what they call that night but it's just where you get to dress up for dinner and anyway they take your picture and whatnot last year when we went on our cruise the dress that i wore i just felt it was all wrong for the occasion and i don't know it i've just learned a lot from that from that moment so I remember not feeling very comfortable with the neckline that I chose and then also of course the cut of it but also the color so recently I shared over on my community tab on YouTube the um, that color wise dot me and if you are trying to find your best colors you can click on that link but also I just shared a couple of you know the color story, the dresses that I had for the week, and I had a little something to say. So if you're not subscribed, I hope you will, will, and also turn on your notifications because I'm going to start sharing lookbooks with you. It's not just going to be about wardrobe. It will be about whatever topic I'm really going to be sharing that week and just kind of like a little preview of it. So anyway, let me share with you a few things that I wanted this next dress to like the boxes I wanted it to check especially when I'm going to be on a cruise and eating and whatnot so I really wanted a dress that would have some stretch it wouldn't be too constricting I wouldn't need to wear like some kind of shapewear I didn't want to have to wear shapewear underneath I just want to be comfortable on many in many ways so I wanted to be comfortable, of course, with my midsection and just not feeling like I feel too constricted. I also wanted to have a neckline that was very elegant and that I wouldn't have to worry about bending over or, you know, popping out of or just anything or it just being too low and feeling uncomfortable about that. And then, of course, the sleeve length. I really don't like wearing sleeveless dresses, especially eating, I think or like in a restaurant because sometimes it can be chilly and so I wanted to be able to wear whatever I was going to wear without having to have a shawl or something like that. So I feel like this is a wonderful medium, happy medium there. And maybe lace or something like that would be more appropriate in this season that I'm going to be going. But you know, I, I think that velvet is still appropriate. And so I thought that I would go with this. And after doing that color, you know, color me wise or color wise me dot me, um, I thought that this color of all the colors that were there, this one matched the best. And of course it was like one that fit me and so all of the things were checked and also the length. Now it shows a little bit of knee which I think is is nice but it just hits beautifully and also it has a sheath style at the bottom but it has more of this loose fitting top. So all around I just felt like it was perfect and then it does have a sash on it which the sash it could be tied in a bow with a lot of extra length on the sash in the front but because I don't want to have too much bulk around my midsection then I decided to tie it around the back first and then around the front and um, just do like a little knot in the front so it doesn't have so much sash hanging down and I think that that looked better. So I think with the shoes I'm going to end up just wearing either my nude heels or I don't know I might try to find something sparkly even. Speaking of sparkle I wanted your opinion on what earrings to wear with this. You're probably noticing that I have two different earrings on so yes I have these long ones here and then these that are bigger studs or do you think that I should go with a color like a gemstone and what color would that be if you you know 
I'm trying not to do too matchy matchy. Like if I did a color stone, I would want it to be a different color, but I don't know what I would wear with this. So anyway, that is what I'm going to do there. And then I like to try out a look before I, you know, just decide on it and take it there. So we do a little practice run. This is a little dress rehearsal, although I want to change out of this before Jorge gets home because I kind of want to surprise him with it the night of. And then um, I had my hair curled just away from my face and parted down the middle today. And so then I just kind of put it up in this messy little clip right here so kind of like a french twist and then pulled out some hair some wispy hairs here and i think that i might just go with that um, messy messy kind of look i think that we'll we will just go with that with my hair up and especially with having more um fabric up on top and a higher neckline i just think that that will be a great look and not to mention jorge likes when i wear my hair up more so we will just go with that. Now let me share this new makeup that I found. I went shopping for some new makeup because I am pretty much out of the one that I had been using, which is the Il Maquillage um, After Party. And I didn't want to go with this brand anymore. The color I think matched great and they did a great job of doing that, but I don't know, I just, I don't want to, to go with that brand anymore. So I went and found this Dior one, and this is in uh, Cool Rose is the color. So it's zero CR, and I really like the feeling of it. And so I think that it was kind of hard to decide, but I had the makeup artist help me because there was a lighter one that really did a better job of matching my neck color but then this one had a little bit more color to it and we decided because we wanted something that would cover some concealer better and just i don't know give more of that glow we went with this color right here so i am wearing it right now i mean it is over what i was already wearing like I said, this is all just dress rehearsal today. I'm just, you know, trying different things out. And then I found a new uh, concealer that the makeup artist uh, shared with me. And this is by Natasha Denona. And this was really pretty too. So um, this covers the spots. I have some dark spots that it covers really well. And then I wanted something for under the eye. So I think that it does a really great job. It's in the color R2. I don't know um, if there was an actual name for the color, but it's R2. And I'm going to try to link all of this in my description box below. When I change my makeup, I do try to share that in my description box. And then some new blush. This is by MAC and this is in the color Blush Baby. So little bit more of a mauve tone and I also was looking for something that would be more mauve like with lipstick and so we found this by MAC and it's called syrup and I think that it's really beautiful it's not too dark but it definitely adds some color to my lips and um, especially for different colors that I wear, I wanted something that wasn't too peachy because I have Ferris Nude that I have been wearing a lot and I think that it's just a great neutral to wear, but it kind of clashed with some of the clothing that I was wearing. So I needed something with a little bit cooler of an undertone to it. And then um, with this, the blush nudes by Maybelline. Today I use this dark, um, this dark one in the corner. And then at the very end, I ended up putting a little bit of this blush just to kind of blend it, give it more of 
I thought that the colors mixed together looked better than just the brown, just the dark brown on top because the brown can kind of look a little gray and I wanted to make it a little bit more rich so I added that to it. I definitely upped my eyeliner with this Milani Stay Put Infinite Liner. I really love this liner because it stays put and that is something that has just been a game changer I would say when it comes to my winged eyeliner because um, by the end of the day my eyeliner would always wear off this stays put so if you're looking for something that stays put I would definitely recommend this one and then I think that's it that's it when it comes to the new makeup that I have this Milani one I've been using this one for a while and uh, the same with the blush nudes but as you can see the colors that I have been using have been this uh, kind of like a copper brown and um, Sometimes, depending on what I'm wearing, I will go with these mauve tones over here, just the rosy kind of colors. So anyway, if I'm going to dress up though, I do like to do a little bit more of a smoky eye, something that, you know, brings out my eyes a little bit more, especially if I'm going with a darker color. Um, that's something that I've noticed I've needed to do. So anyway, that is my new makeup. And as I said, like just with my aging skin and everything, I needed to find something different, I feel, with some of these things. So definitely splurged a little bit, but these things I know will last me. I don't have a lot of things. So what I do get, I want to make sure does the job well. And I don't like to try a lot of new things. So... It was nice to go into the store and just try different things out and definitely get the recommendation of a makeup artist for that. So anyway, what are we doing today? We are going to really transition a lot of the things that don't fit me any longer or just that I don't feel really compliment me as well and I need to post those things on Poshmark and just get busy with that because I have let some things build up and it would be a great time to just kind of clear out my closet. So if any of you are interested in some of these dresses, I hope that you will go over there. And then of course I look forward to packaging those dresses up and shipping them your way. And that will pretty much be it because um, you know, I just, um, I just need to get that done. It's one of those things that can take a long time to do, but once it's done, you feel great. And especially getting things out and sending them to someone who you know will love them, that makes a big difference to me. So that's something that I always look forward to around, you know, that time of transition for uh, the seasons. So anyway, Please let me know in the comments below again, what earring do you think I should wear or should I go with something completely different? And that's about it. Oh yes, and the shoes. Should I go with a sparkly one or just keep it very um, neutral, you know, not not go sparkly in with the shoes. I have a new pair coming. I just ordered a new pair because these have seen better days. I, I wear them pretty much every Sunday, especially in the spring and summer months. And, you know, if we go out or something, I might wear them. But um, anyway, the lining and they're just kind of falling apart now. So it was time to get a new pair of heels. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I really even want to get something that like I would just wear occasionally like that. That's why I do love my nude heels, whether they are my kitten heels or these ones, which these are not very high. I've just changed a lot about, you know, what I end up wearing. Like I am not even going to bring my Aldo heels, the closed toed ones. I know that, you know, in this season, closed toed is probably better but when we're inside I just don't think that it matters as much so um, or when you're really dressing up I think that you can get away with having open toe you know so anyway 
let's clean out my wardrobe and let's uh, simplify things. Look at that, I can bend over all I want. Nothing shows. Okay, I think I may have uh, found a new dress style that I prefer to wear because I don't have to worry at all. The thing about these dresses though is that I've never been one to really love this kind of look, but this dress, there's an exception to this one. Now I have seen dresses like these where they actually are not completely sewn. You know, it's like an actual wrap crossover. Those are the worst. Don't ever get a dress that's like that. I have seen ladies wear dresses like that and they don't realize everything that shows when they walk or when they sit down. You would go like that and just everything, everything will be showing. They don't realize how much they are flashing to the world. So if you have a dress that is like this, that is an actual wrap, make sure that you reinforce that. The way that they have this sewn, like you can just have that done with that dress and then it will uh, make it so much more comfortable for you. Of course you can wear a slip, but it's, a lot better when a slip down here doesn't show. So that's why I would say definitely sew it. So what I have started here is a section of dresses that I might end up wearing when I go on the cruise, but I don't want to have in my um, wardrobe right now because I'm not really going to be wearing them right now. I have dresses over here that I am going to be selling on Poshmark. So I am starting this whole section. Some of them like this one, the cut just does not do anything for me. This one doesn't fit me. Um, this one, I love this one, but the colors really don't do anything for me. The same with this polka dot one. After doing my colors, it just makes more sense not to wear those warmer tones. And then this green is definitely not my green. Now over here, I have dresses that I'm pretty much done wearing um, because I am transitioning colors. So there are just some things that just seem more spring and summer like to me. So I wanted to pack those away and they're really not the dresses that I want to wear on the cruise either. So 
um, that's what I'm doing with this pile. Now I am going to take down all of my bins and really be ruthless when it comes to, you know, am I going to wear that dress anymore or should I sell it? And then also there might be some more colors that I can take out that would be appropriate for this season and so on. So that's what we're going to do right now is just really sift through all of the off season stuff and just kind of switch things out and also um, decide if I'm going to sell those pieces. So I have a whole pile here of dresses that I am going to now picture for Poshmark. I have a slip here that I need to put away in my slip drawer. And then I also have some dresses that I'm going to think about on if I want to bring them with me for my trip and just exactly what I want to do. This is a hoodie that I'm going to be wearing when I go um, for my morning walks. And um, I need to still take the tags off of them because I just got that one. And then uh, some nightwear that I'm going to put away in my drawer because um, since I have the coats hanging in my closet now in this left portion that is a lot smaller, um, I just want to have these hanging here because I don't like to mix them with my clothes. So um, to me, it's just good to have a little coat closet. And since we don't have another closet in the house for coats, um, I'm just going to be using that one for it. So um, that's why sometimes I go between using my armoire as a place where I store all of my nightwear and then this. Here's a look at my wardrobe, completely finished aside from what I'm wearing today, but with all of my dresses washed and put back. So these are the colors that I look forward to wearing this fall going into winter. Now, when it gets very chilly, for me at least, there are a few dresses in here that I will definitely be taking out. For example, these right here, the more boho looking ones, um, those to me just don't pair well with a trench coat or a coat and then I have this one right here um, this dusty lavender one it just um, is one that I really wear in the fall time when it's not too cold out and I can just put a sweater over it or something like that now I have mentioned before that we have very mild falls winter seasons here so I can get away with wearing pretty much just a dress with an overcoat um, I don't need to really worry about so many layers, but 
it just depends on where you are. I know as far as what you would need to make adjustments accordingly, especially if you still want to be wearing dresses. I know that it's possible. So many of you write about what kind of things you do, whether that is fleece line tights or tall boots, all of those different kind of things. And if I were in such a climate, I would be putting a lot of energy into figuring all of that out. But since I'm not, I really don't put my money towards that or just try to figure that out. So that's why I really don't make um, in-depth videos about such things. But I know that there are creators out there that do. So I would encourage you to seek that out if you are searching for something like that. Now, I do like to keep a couple of lighter colors in here. I really love this um, linen light blue dress that I have. So that seems to stay in my wardrobe pretty much through every season. I like this lavender one, this very light one. And then I also have my green one. So that is something that um, I have on right now as I'm filming this. And um, those are ones that are constants in my wardrobe. They're all by Gal Meets Glam. I also have this blue one right here. So they're all the same cut. It's by ba Gal Meets Glam. And um, they're just so easy to wear, appropriate for so many different occasions. And I love having dresses like that. Just a really great everyday dress. It has pockets, etc. Now, one more thing that I wanted to note was that there are some dresses in here, a few, that I'm not able to fit in properly right now, but I have been on a journey of losing weight right now, so I am keeping them in here because one of the things that I have heard from someone who has gone through this is that if you have some of the clothing that you do want to wear on hand and you can constantly try them on and zip it up, it's a great way to just encourage yourself, but also to just see how your body is changing without, without taking measurements, without doing all of that. You can just see how your clothing fits you. So there are a couple of pieces in here that I decided to take out that I had packed away before, but I decided to take them out because I am, do not want to part with them. And because I already am losing weight it's just something that I'm looking forward to and I'm going to take her advice in trying my clothes on, even the ones that don't fit, but that I know fit me just fine before and so I shouldn't have a problem getting back into them and I'm not too far away. So um, that's just a little side note there. And one other thing about the coats, I don't have all my coats out right now, um, especially the heavier coats. These are just the trench coats, but I do have one that I ordered, which is a wool coat that is supposed to be coming and it's a beautiful blue. And I look forward to sharing that once I have some time to see how I like it. And when I have something to share about it, I look forward to adding that to the conversation. I also ended up changing the boxes up there because the other ones, I don't know, it was just a little too overwhelming to my eye to see that pattern in here, especially since I have a pattern going on in here with the wallpaper. So I just kind of simplified things there as well. I moved one of the boxes down and put the other two back there. Transitioning my wardrobe around this time of year is a wonderful way to transform my closet, my wardrobe. It just allows me to see those things that I am going to be wearing for the season. It kind of just brightens my day to be able to see different colors that are appropriate for the season, but 
two ones that also complement my skin, my hair, my eyes. So that is something that I would definitely encourage you to do is to figure out those things. Maybe there are some colors that you have within your wardrobe that you don't know why you just don't reach for it very often or you just feel you don't look as great in. I would encourage you to eliminate those things out of your wardrobe and then during different seasons, bringing out those colors that complement you and that are really beautiful for that season. So that is what I have done here and I feel that it's a beautiful transformation. I also like the fact that everything isn't so packed in here. This is a beautiful way to be able to have some breathing room for your clothing and to also get use out of your clothes and to see that and also to make sure that you're not just sifting through different things every day that you're not going to be wearing for that season. So that is a really big reason why I really like to pack different items away for different seasons because I don't want to waste my time even looking at them on a day-to-day -day basis because it wouldn't be something that I would be wearing in that time. And then too, there's always that extra benefit of when you pull it out for the next season, it feels like something brand new and you can transform your wardrobe again and transform your closet. I really enjoyed spending this time with you today. Thank you so much for being here. I really do hope that if you're interested in seeing my weekly lookbooks, then you will either go to my page like my channel page and look at my community tab or you will make sure that you're subscribed with your notifications on so that you don't miss any of those uploads as well so anyway thank you so much for being here and i look forward to seeing you in my next video mm -hmm.